What's up YouTube, it's Alex Osh here with my new tech videos for 2017 and this video is going to cover my favorite business applications for 2017 so you can stay productive, more efficient and get things done so you don't have to spend as much time working and spend time with your family and friends and uh, overall hopefully make more money as well. Now my first application I'm going to cover is called Sideline and this allows you to create a second phone number other than your main number that you use now you're always you know in business giving client giving clients uh phone numbers and this allows you to create a second one so you don't have to give them your personal line as you can see here i created the phone number 561-288-2947 hopefully you guys don't call or text me too much but it's just a really cool thing that you can have on your phone and uh you can see you can dial all their numbers as well and receive text messages too now my second application is Adobe Acrobat. You might have seen this before, and I'm just gonna go over this real quickly. You can obviously, uh, in business, you're going over a bunch of PDFs and always receiving them for contracts and stuff like that. So you can see you can scan and make a new PDF. You can fill and sign. There's another little app you can download so you can create fillable areas on a PDF for a client to sign or, or put their information. You can export a PDF and you can have all your documents in here just a nice little application to to stay productive and you don't always have to go on your computer to handle PDFs now MailChimp you guys might have heard of this is specifically for mailing lists and for you to obviously mail your clients or potential leads and it's just a real easy way to do the whole thing on your phone you can create a campaign they have a new app you can also download it's called uh, MailChimp Snap, where you can send photos to your clients from your uh, from your photo library, and just a real quick way to stay in contact with uh, potential clients, and uh, hopefully make more uh, more money by using this. Now, this app, Wolfram Alpha, you might have heard of the website. They have an application now. It's uh, three ninety nine on the App Store. Let me show you some of the some of the things you can do in it. So here we have a, a list of a bunch of examples where you can find information and do calculations. Mathematics, words and linguistics, units and measurement, people in history, statistics and data analysis. For business sense, let's go to, let's go to money and finance. Let's show some of the examples. You can obviously find stock data, compare several stocks for you finance people out there, investors. You can do uh, contract futures contracts. You know, if you're into options and futures stuff like that, mortgages and loans, present value calculations, currency calculations, tips and gratuities, bonds, derivatives, salaries and wages, income tax, sales tax, advertising revenue. It goes on and on. You know, physics, astronomy, music. Let's see uh, one more. We'll go to. For you sports people, sports and games, you know, find a bunch of information on your favorite teams. Definitely a really cool application. Highly recommend it. And, I mean, there's just so much you can do in here. Now, the next one is Slack. Now, a bunch of business people are working as teams to, you know, obviously get things done faster. And this allows you to invite your team into a general uh messaging app then you guys can message you know things that you need to get done and you can create different uh categories so if you have one for clients you have one for projects you're working on very simple app to use and very well made definitely recommend it the next one is the gmail app now the reason i put this in here is so many of you have multiple gmail accounts for different things and this app is well designed and just an easy way to access your your gmail and the reason I put it next to the Docs, uh, Google Docs app, which is my next app here, is that it works simultaneously. So you can send Google Docs in the Gmail app, and obviously you can create new new Gmail Docs in this app. You know, new new document. You know, name it, and then you can start writing and uh, do everything in here. The next one is the Microsoft Word app. Now, if I had to choose one, Google Docs or Microsoft Word, it's it's pretty hard to decide, but I'd probably choose Microsoft Word only because the design is probably better than Google Docs. 
and there's a lot of different things that you can access very quickly so say you know I need to do a little uh, brochure for a new product you know I can create a new brochure right in here quickly I can customize all these things and create a nice brochure fast and you know obviously you can go in Photoshop you can go in Microsoft Word on your computer but a lot of times you're in, the, in an airplane in the car on a train in an uber whatever you need to get it done fast so this allows you that option and the more the better you get at this the quicker you can do it and the nicer it will look so definitely a learning learning curve there on how quickly you can get things done but once you're good you're good to go now pocket this app is really cool I just actually found it a few days ago and this allows you to on Safari or one of your browsers basically save complete web pages easily and for example I saved the Breitbart news the home page and I saved the whole thing so if I wanted to look on it later and a lot of times in business you're looking at a research document or analysis and you don't have the time to basically you know read it all in one one time so this gives you the option the way it's done is so I'm on the get pocket app for an example you click here and then you scroll over you click pocket and it's gonna say saved and then it's gonna be in there there we go email confirmation that was it now my last and probably my favorite application is Wonderlist. Now we're all into those to-do applications. There's a ton of them. I think this one is very well made, very simple to use, and highly recommended as well. You can, as you can see, if I had to create a to-do, so just to be funny, we'll get more subscribers is a to-do here. Now if I can click a due date and I can add a file if I want to need to throw some PDFs in there I can create a subtask a reminder a due date some notes I'm taking I can if you have other people that you add to your group they can even comment on the task which is nice for a team and uh, just uh, a real simple way to get things done and you can email it print it all from that so and, and there is a paid version for this as well and it gives you more options you can have more files and you can change customize it a bit more but you know for someone who's not doesn't use it too much and just wants a sim simple app it's really uh, it's free and it's it's really good those are my top 10 business apps for you know being productive and getting things done but you know obviously there's a lot more if you want to throw in the social media side we have Facebook LinkedIn Twitter all that stuff you know snapchat Instagram those are more of your social networking apps these are basically apps just to be productive and and uh, hopefully increase your day-to-day uh, -day operations and, and how you uh, efficient you are. Thank you so much for watching and I uh, hope this helps you. Uh, make sure you comment, uh, like, and subscribe. Check out my other videos and uh, I'll see you soon.